Hi everybody, I'm George Riles. I'm here at Last Chance Archery to show you the new Limb Lock Kit. So this is a new setup that's set that is for over parallel bows and it helps you safely press any bow regardless of its limb design. So I'm going to go through how easy it is to set this up and how to operate it with a bow. Okay, I'm going to show you how to put this on your press and get it ready to go. And just like any other press, uh, last chance product, you just pop these off, leave them in your tray, and this one goes right on there like this. The other one goes right on there like that. And you'll do the same for both sides. And this head pivots to accommodate the angle of the limb. So if you take an over parallel limb or any limb that sits flat in this feature here, when if you take the string off and fully decompress the bow, the limb stays in complete contact with the press surface all the time, making it much safer. These slide in and out so you can set the width for whichever you know bow limb that you're going to use it with and this shape also gives extra room for your fingers when you're putting strings on and off and working on the cam itself so i'll put the other half on over here these screws on the back these screws on the back will change the angle of the finger if you need to change that to kind of accommodate the angle of the limb so that it all fits in there so it's fully adjustable so that it'll work and you can keep the limb tips equal with each other as you're pressing the bow so now we're going to put the rollers on now these rollers they have a soft flexible material that makes it very forgiving when you put the bow in the press and the, the wheel won't tear up your uh, logos that are on the limbs or anything. And uh, it'll help keep everything safe without marking your bow or anything. So installing these is pretty easy. You slide these on and then just tighten up the screws. And this little knob down here allows you to extend or retract this so you can follow along as you're pressing or decompressing the bow so that you can keep this safe so that the bow is always supported so if you press down on the bow while you're working on it or it ensures that the bow won't slip out once it's under pressure so these are really good to have kind of just touching the bow when you have the bow in the press so i'll make sure this is tight okay then we'll put the other side on these are super easy to install. And in my shop, I just leave these on. I don't take them on and off when I use other fingers. I can just leave them on here. And then if I don't need them for whatever reason, I can just retract them out of the way and it works great. But in most cases, you're probably gonna have this out just as a little safety net so the limb will stop the bow from falling if you open up the press and you don't have your hands on it. Okay. So I'll just put these in place. And that is how you install this stuff on your press. So next, we're gonna uh, take the strings off of a bow. We're gonna fully decompress it, put it back together, just so you can see kind of how that works and how easy it is to do. So I have a Hoyt Ventum 30 with the HBX cam just to show you how to put a bow in here, how to completely relax a bow setup in here, and how to set these fingers. So here we go. So I'll put this in and I'll get it ready. I've got the bow kind of in place and I'll carefully press this along, right? And I watch those fingers engage with the bow. So now here's something that you need to see. So watch this cam here. When I start to press, well first, before I start to press, I'm gonna slide these in place and I'm gonna put them right against the limb like that. Then watch this cam as I press. So when I press, you see how the cam changes angle. You see that there? So that's telling me that these are out of adjustment. So what I'll do 
is I'll back the adjustment off and then test. Okay, it still moves. I'll back the adjustment off a little more. Still moves a little. We'll back it off a little more. So now, when I press the bow, the angle of the cam stays the same. That's the indicator that the, the limb tips are equal to each other and the cam center stays stable, no movement as you press the bow. It stays still in the middle. So here we go. So I'm about to take the strings off of this and then we're gonna completely relax the bow. And one of the things that makes this super easy, have you seen this? This clip, when I put this on the press, you know how when you're, you're taking your strings off and the strings get kind of a, you know, they untwist and you lose your sink and your cam, so this makes it much easier. So when I press the bow and then take the string off, or the cable, I should say, I'll take the cable off, and then I can take that and just clip that right in there and that stops that from untwisting. So then I'll move this one over and then take the shooting string off like so. I'll get that down out of the way and I'll clip that right there. And then rotate the cam all the way around and that'll make it easy for me to just pop that one off of there. And then I will put that one in this clip right there. And that'll keep this stuff out of the way and maintain the twists. So then, when I go to relax the bow completely, I just back this all the way off. And now the bow is completely relaxed. I can take this out of the press, lay it down on my workbench, disassemble, change the limbs, do anything of that matter that I need to do. And then when I place it back in, you see how the heads of these fingers automatically change angle to match the limb. So the limb stays in contact with the press at all times. So I'll take the decompressed bow, I'll position it into the limb head, and then I'll move these out so that they can kind of stay somewhat in contact. I'm gonna leave these about, I don't know, a quarter, you know, three quarter of an inch or something away from the limb, snug those up, and then I'll press, and I'll adjust these on as necessary and keep them going. And now, I believe, I have this pressed enough where I should be able to put the, put the strings back on the bow. So I'll do this in reverse order because I took the, the one that goes around the idler hub here. I'll turn the cam all the way over, fit that into place, rotate that back into place like so. Then I'll get the shooting string and I'll put the shooting string over the cam like this open that all the way up i'll hook that one in place right there make sure that my my clips are in the right spot for me then i'll take this one and i'll run this one down and i'll turn the cam so that i can get that in place there we are that will do I'll hook this one back into its spot, like so. All right, so we'll have that one in place. This one is in place. Then I'll put the string back into its track, just like that. I'll move my clip out of the way, because I don't need that anymore. And I'll just, to make sure that everything is in its track, I kind of pull up and I see I just, I made a mistake here. See, that's, that's why I pull up. I ended up putting these on the other side of the damper. So that spotted that before it became a problem. So I'll just take these and put them on the other side. Like so. It's a really good idea to double triple check because no matter how good you are at this, double check yourself. 
Okay, so that's on. Everything looks in place. It looks correct. All the strings are in their tracks. So then I'll reduce pressure. And there we are. Everything is back and in place. One more little pro shop note that I'll say is when you take it out, double check, make sure everything is still on and always pull the bow back at least once before you hand it to the customer. Just make sure that everything is in the track and everything's operating as it should. So obviously you'll only use the limb lock kit on a last chance archery press, but now you can see how easy it is to press a bow, take it apart in a safe way using the limb lock kit. They make this limb lock kit to fit the easy green. They make it for the deluxe or the ultimate. You have to specify which press that you have to make sure that you get the right size for the clips that hold the rollers. So go to lastchancearchery.com and you can get the limb lock kit.